Hey, Just Bricks here with another haul. Um, I got two actual hauls here. Uh, the stuff on this side came from a Facebook Marketplace listing that I bought a couple days ago. And then this box here and the plates underneath of it came from a thrift store today. I saw the box and it was marked Vintage Lego and I could not resist picking it up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start with the new stuff first since I got that lot first. I think I spent a little too much on this stuff. Um, some of the minifigure pieces, most of the minifigure pieces, I've already started sorting out and adding to my store. Like All these pieces here are already actually in my store. I just got to put them away. But yeah, I got a bunch of shields and some uh, minifigure helmets and stuff there. Oddly enough, there are more accessories than even minifigure parts. Like this right here. That's all the minifigure parts, but I was real excited to see this pauldron here from Captain Rex. That made me real excited. Uh, sadly, there's nothing else from him in this whole lot. There are a couple clone pieces, um, some more of the different cloth pieces, and another pauldron there, and then some capes and things, but not any complete minifigures from Star Wars. I mean, there are a couple helmets, but they're already put away in a different container. Some Chima, that's like the only fully complete minifigure I got in the lot is a Chima figure. I don't think that's how he's supposed to look. And let's see, got some Ninjago things. And some more minifigure pieces there, but that's all the real exciting minifigure pieces that I found. I haven't sorted through this lot real well, but uh, in this bag we got a sealed Chima Dimensions Fun Pack. Not terribly exciting. I was a little more interested in this one. It's been opened. I can't really tell there, but the top is open, but the bags are sealed, so it's not worth a whole lot either, but I mean, Gimli is pretty cool, so. Hard to get upset with that. And we got some base plates. They're a little wet because I, I washed these off last night and made the mistake of putting them back in this bag before I let them dry. But got quite a few base plates. Let's see what else we got here. This container. Oh, that's part of, I think, this box actually, or a similar one. Yeah, some of these pieces in there. I haven't found anything terribly exciting in this slot yet. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I overpaid for it. But. Dragon is kind of cool. Some Ninjago pieces, some Star Wars. Oh, look. Is that the train? Looks like the train. It's on the box. Yep. Alright. I'll dig through that more later. But this is what I really wanted to make the movie about right here. The movie. This is what I wanted to make the video about right here. Lego. I believe that's pronounced Balkasten. 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 I took German in high school. Don't really remember a whole lot. I did Google that and it means building set. And this box is real old. I'll take a moment to appreciate this box actually. They they wrote Lego on every side of it, and they drew windows and things to use it as a playhouse. There you got doors and everything on that side. Got fancy cursive Lego written there. Vintage Legos with an S. See, it's something they built there for their mom, mama. Saw this in there. One of the old garage plates with the old logo on there. It's pretty awesome. And it had the garage door, which is cracked, but it's pretty awesome. It's kind of unusual to see this color in the States because I, I looked it up, the set that this came in, it was just those three pieces. And that set was only released as, as a supplemental set in Europe. And so 
I was pretty excited to find that kind of stuff in there. And then this is what sold me on buying it right here. Uh, these plates came with a lot from the thrift store. They're not even Lego, but they're pretty good quality. I have a friend who does a city. He's not terribly picky about his base plates and things being actual Lego brands. So I might give those to him or see if he's interested in buying them. But yeah, this bag right here, we got all the little letters. Oh, it's an umlaut, I believe. With the serif font that's really cool and then the flags are in pretty great shape the print at least are a little crooked like this one's a little bit bent but they're all intact and the print is in pretty good shape no big nicks or cuts and the german flag there so I would assume that these were from Germany at some point. Um, it's pretty cool. Oh, that's one of the creepy little Duplo dudes. What have we got in here? Some more vintage stuff, some yellowed glass pieces. I'm not sure what that actually is from. Some windows. Oh, there's another brick in here I saw. Oh yeah. Volkswagen. Volkswagen. Label there. Verkauf. Don't know what that means. I'd have to look it up. Yeah, there's a lot of the older style bricks. Definitely not ABS plastic. Uh, don't think that's anything exciting at all. That's pretty new. Just a bunch of old pieces in there. Some 4x4 four four corner bricks with the old logo. I don't see, I don't see any other printed pieces. You can see that they're the hollow without the little under stud things. Yep, you can see that old logo. Pretty cool. There's one more brick. That was kind of cool. Ah, one of the old school light bricks right there. That's pretty cool. Sadly, none of the other parts I would need to make it light up. Old solid stud round bricks with no underside. You can see there's a lot of nicks in that one. Some of the other ones were in better shape. But yeah, some neat little old vintage pieces in there, and I'm pretty pretty excited to see what all's in here. I need to clean these. You can see some of these are pretty nasty looking, but overall these pieces are not terribly yellowed for the age. These are all from the 60s. Oh, we've got some pen on there and some nastiness. Oh, look, someone filled in all the circles. <laughs> but yeah, I was real excited to see this. Again, this box is just really neat. And the lettered bricks, they're not worth a whole lot. At least I, none of the ones I looked at were worth a whole lot. But they're neat. I might be able to spell something out. A couple more letters over there. And so that's my haul. Some vintage stuff, some definitely not vintage stuff. And yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy and excited to get some of the stuff listed in my store.